If you have an awesome Inkscape asset and when you see it in Revit, for example, in your plan and elevation, it sucks. It, this video is for you and we will convert that ugly uh, placeholder to this better placeholder for your plans and elevation. You can see I have this beautiful bed in here. You can get it on ecasset.com. And when I bring it in Revit in a default mode, when you create an asset in Inkscape and you bring it, you can see this dummy box and it is really ugly and it will kill you when you are placing it and if you are adjusting the placement and also when you go to the plan of it you can see it is really ugly and we don't want that but we are here to solve it the first way that i'm going to talk about is about uh, using the max file for example if you have the uh, source uh, 3ds max file or blender file you can uh, open it for example let's go to the 3ds max i have opened the 3ds max file in here let's press f4 you can see all of the polygons it has lots of polygons it is great for rendering but if you would bring this in your revit environment it will kill your revit and your revit will crash so how we can solve it the first step is better to convert all of them to a double poly click select all of them and then bake the geometry and then all of them are not going to be optimized because some of them are really low poly or if you don't need some of them you can delete them for example i don't want these parts in here in my plan also if you are if you are if you're on a simpler one you can delete this one too or if you don't want any pillows or some of the pillows you can delete them too and then let's select some of them for example let's select this and let's optimize it let's add the pro optimizer modifier in here and then click on calculate and then bring this percentage percent to a really low number let's put it for example on two and you can see it is not uh, it is not great for rendering but it is great it is okay for our plan for example we can put it on one or even lower number 0.5 you can see it is good for our plan and we can work with it and the lower the uh, the lower the polygon numbers, uh, the lower resource you need to uh, have it in your plan and elevations. We can do this, do the same for other parts. For example, let's select these pillows and let's add a pro optimizer and let's put them on two or even lower number, maybe 0.5. And when you're done with the optimization, you need to create a, a export for yourself. And also you need to know that the number of polys, it is better to be lower than 30K to have better performance in Revit. Or you can, for example, select this one and optimize all of them too. I will optimize them and we will uh, see the next stage. Now you can see after optimization, all of the parts, we have 900 polys and it is great then you need to go to the file in here and create a say uh, create an export from it and export it as a fpx file for example let's click on desktop and in here uh, as a fpx file let's claim a placeholder and now after exporting our fpx let's go to the asset library and here go to the custom asset and make sure you have the right pass for it and let's edit this one and let's switch to the asset custom asset editor and in here i've opened the bed let's switch it again and let's wait a little bit and now in here we have a placeholder geometry file click on it and in here select the fx file you've created for example this one that we've created together let's click on open and wait a little bit now after uh, that you've linked the placeholder click on show preview to see the preview in here you can see it is great click on save changes and export and wait a little bit and you have the asset but when i close this and when i said in revit you can see it is not it didn't happen anything what's the problem because we have placed it earlier there is a cache of this uh, family in revit so we need to clean it how we can clean it you need to go to you need to delete this form you need to go to the manage and click on purge on use and in here uncheck check none and find the planting category and let's select all of these in here all of these Enscape assets in here click on them and click on ok 
now we are good to go and then go to the Enscape assets again click on asset library and let's place it again you can see now we have a great placeholder we can see the results really great on our screen on our plan on our elevation and it will be much easier to place your assets for example let's align it you can see it is really easy to align it right now for example let me rotate it I have a live update with my Enscape. That's the reason we have slower working in here. Now let's bring it and let's place it to the right place. You can see it is much better in your plan and it will give you a better plan. I don't need any additional work. Let me resume the live and let's see the results in Enscape 2 to see the difference in Enscape part 2. You can see there is no difference in Enscape part because we are seeing the rendering part of our asset but when you go to the asset placement in Enscape uh, UI when you select it and when you click on transfer and you want to move it if you if you would do this with the previous one it would be a dummy box but right now you can see even in here it is much easier to move it and to do some modification to your assets but we have two other ways to create placeholders but if you want to learn them you need to like this video because if you don't like this video your assets will remain ugly the next two ways that i'm going to talk about are for the people who doesn't access to max or they want a better workflow or alternative workflow we can say in that way for example we have this bedding here we can bring it in our revit project and we can place it to the place that we want to place our real bed for our rendering I need to pause the live update too to have better speed now I can delete this one I can place the Revit family to the place you can see we have a good plan but if you would go to the Enscape you can see an ugly bed let's see it in Enscape let's resume the update and let's see it in Enscape it will be so ugly you guys what a surprise as I said this is a really ugly bed but how we can bring that bed instead of this bed in here uh, we can have this bed in our Revit environment but we can tell Enscape to replace this bed by the bed that we want in Enscape environment how, how that will help you need to go to the asset library again and select uh, this one and uh, click on this uh, menu in here and you can see we have a link Revit family to asset option you can link it and you can specify the family that you have this family that i have is called bed let's bring bed in here it is large size aus we need to see the side two but i think this is a double one or we can test it now you can see uh, we've done the process but we have some problems because the vectors and the Rotations are different for our Revit family and our Enscape family to solve it I need to come and in, come here and rotate this one, but this is not the, uh, This is not a great way because it has some problems in it So this was this is the, not the way that I recommend the first way is the best But this is kind of the way that you can do when you don't have access to the max file or uh, you don't have access to the 3ds max software the third way is really special and you will need it in really uh, rare situations for example uh, you don't have uh, you want to have a placeholder but you don't have a right max file and you want to create a placeholder in Revit you can create a Revit family and can export uh, the family to an FX file and you can use it in your Enscape asset placeholder part let's use this trick uh, from now on and we don't have any Enscape ugly assets in Revit's plan and make sure to uh, watch this video we do a full bathroom full project in Revit and Enscape and also if you want more uh, Enscape assets for your Enscape asset library make sure to check ecasset.com